I praise him this morning. I thank God, even as we have been looking at, praise God, uh, the word of God in 1 Samuel. Praise God. We started, amen, in 1 Samuel chapter 5 as we shared, praise God, the word of the Lord. Amen. And what took place that the ark, amen, of the Lord, the ark of the covenant, praise God, that was taken by the Philistines. And we want to know why or how in the world did the Philistines, amen, wind up with the ark of, of the covenant of the Lord. Amen. So we had to go back. Go back, praise God, and read in the Word of God. And I'm sure, praise God, you already know, but praise God, it's good to, amen, get in the Word of God because our faith comes. Faith comes by hearing, amen, the Word of God. And I'm thanking God that we're strengthened through the Word. So many things, praise God, in our lives. Many times we're looking for answers, praise God. We're looking here, there, and everywhere. Lottie, dotty, everybody. But listen, when we look to the Word and get in the Word of God, we can find, amen, the answers. We can get what we need from God, amen, and knowing that God is right there to answer even our questions, praise God, and meet the needs in our lives. So I thank God today, still again, even as we went back and even as we were looking in the Word of God and we shared Praise God, even with uh, Hannah. Amen. Praise God. Penina and Hannah, how Elkanah he had two wives. Praise God. Penina had children. Hannah didn't have any. And Penina, praise God, she taunted. <laughs> she taunted Hannah, you know, to the point where Hannah didn't want to eat. Amen. She didn't want to, you know, eat. And, and it was just so, so much, so weighing on her heart. And I know that many of us, praise God, there have been times in your life where you just, you know, got to a point where something was bothering you to a point where you just didn't want to eat. You know, and what it did, I looked at this, praise God, as it pushed her, it catapulted her to the next level. Because even, let me tell you, don't despise certain things that happen in your life because God just got a way. He uses everything that it works out still for the good, for them who love God, to them who are called according to the purpose and will of God. Because out of all of this, it pushed her to a place of prayer. And when she went, praise God, to pray. And even though no words were coming out of her mouth, just her mouth was moving, but she was pouring out her heart before God. And this is what God wants us to do. Pour out our hearts. Pour it out before him. And as she was pouring out her heart before the Lord, Eli saw her, thought she was drunk, told her to put away her, her, her drunkenness. And she had to them, no, my Lord, I'm not drunk. I'm just a woman, praise God, with a complaint in my heart full of, you know, full of sorrow. And I'm pouring this out before the Lord. And as she was speaking to him, praise God. And I thank God because even in that prayer, what she prayed, she said, Lord, if you bless me, if you open up my wound, if you give me a, a male son, I'll give him back to you. So what she did, she didn't pray the problem, but she prayed the answer. And this is something that all of us need to understand. Amen. We don't have to pray the problem. When we get on our knees, pray the answer. Pray and thank your Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank God because even as the word of the Lord that came from Eli, he said, go in peace. Go in peace and the God of Israel grant you your petition, praise God, that God will do, the God of Israel will do, amen, that what you have asked him uh, for. And let me tell you, when she heard those words, that's all she needed was a word from the Lord, and it's the same thing today. That's all we need is just one word, because when you get one word from God, and that's all it takes, just one word, hearing, thank you, Lord God, anytime you can hear the word of God, anytime you can receive that word and understand the word of God, that you're hearing your life can be changed your life can be changed it changes everything one word thank you lord god when she walked away let me tell you she walked away the bible said her countenance was changed she was no more sad and guess what she went and ate she ate some food and the bible says that when her and elkanah returned back to ramah praise god and elkanah the bible said he knew her and we understand what that means praise god she conceived and i thank god but let me tell you we don't have to wait for battles to be over praise god i thank god you can shout now and i'm thanking god because she received right then that moment when she heard the word when you hear the word of god and you can receive that word your life praise god it can be changed but i'm thanking god I'm praising him, praise God, because we understand, amen, we're still saying all hail the power, thank you, Lord God, and understanding the foundation of the earth, it belongs to God. Let me tell you, I just want to put in your hearing Hannah's prayer. 
Amen. Because, you know, at first as we were preparing, praise God, I was just going to move on, praise God. But I just want to put it in our hearing because it's so powerful. And I thank God, amen, for the word of God. And this is in, praise God, uh, 1 Samuel chapter uh, 3. Praise God. And this is the prayer. Thank you, Lord God. Excuse me. 1 Samuel. God, I thank you this morning. Amen. I praise God for his word. This is 1 Samuel chapter uh, 2. Thank you, Lord God. And this is where Hannah, amen, praise God. She's giving praise and giving thanks to God. But let's hear this prayer. Praise God. The word of the Lord. Amen. It says, my heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies. Jesus. I smile at my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. No one is holy like the Lord, for there is none beside you, nor is there any rock like our God. And here, praise God, this is here comes a warning, amen, to the arrogant and the proud. Talk no more so very proudly. Let no arrogance come from your mouth, for the Lord is the God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. And here, once again, praise God, uh, as Hannah's praying, here comes she's giving the glory, glory to God, who humbles the strong and exalts the, uh, the weak, praise God. She says, the bold, amen, of the mighty men are broken, and those who stumble are girded with strength. Those who were full have hired themselves of, of out for bread, and the hungry have ceased to hunger. Even the barren has borne. Amen. Even the barren has borne seven. She talks about herself. Thank you, Lord God. And she who has many children has become feeble. The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and he brings up. The Lord makes poor and he makes rich. He brings low and he lifts up. He raises the poor from the dust and he lifts the beggar from the ash. Amen. He to set them among princes. And she goes on to say, and makes them inherit the throne of glory. Amen. In verses 8 through 10, she says, For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them, and he will guard the feet of his saints. But the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength no man shall prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces, for heaven he will thunder against them. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. Thank you, Lord God. And he will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Oh, my God. Y'all, when you just take time and listen, when you go back and just read it, and I encourage people all the time, you know, go back and read the, read the word of God. Just get in the word and read it. Even if you got to read it in different translations, but still to understand, praise God. Here it is. I'm thanking God. Amen. For the word of God, because even for Hannah, amen, praise God. When we look at Hannah, amen, praise God. She was giving thanks. She gave thanks to God, giving praise to God for what God did in her life. Amen. And I'm thanking God because even as we stated before she even left, praise God, where she was praying, when she went to pour out her heart to God and heard a word. And that word came and listened. Thank you, Lord God. She did conceive. She did have a son. She did have Samuel. And I'm thanking God because even as she kept her word, listen, and that's another thing. When you make a vow to the Lord, keep your vow, keep your word, keep your promise. Whatever you said you're going to do, do it. Do it. The Bible says it's better not to make a vow than to break it. Keep your vow if you make a vow to the Lord. Don't take it back. Do what you say you're going to do. But I thank God because Hannah, amen, she gave praise to God and understand and look, amen, still even in the word of God as we read here. Amen. She was saying, praise God, through the word of God, even as she started out giving thanks and giving praise. Amen. And I thank God the prayer. Amen. Then she gave a warning to those that are arrogant and proud because, listen, they're going to come. They're going to have to bow down. Amen. Don't don't fret yourself about those who are lifted up. Thank you, Lord God, because God still got this. Amen. Praise God. And even as she gave glory to God and knowing he humbles the strong, but he's going to exalt the weak. And I thank God in Jesus name because we see it. Praise God. And let me tell you, still the things have taken place all around us. Amen. Praise God. I love just that word in by itself. Praise God. Where it says for the pillows of the earth are the Lord's 
and he has set the world upon them and he will guard the feet of his saints thank you Lord God but the wicked shall be silent in darkness and I thank God in Jesus name that still again the word of God even as it says for the, by strength no man shall prevail amen praise God listen again I still thank God what comes to mind amen praise God some trust in horses and chariots amen praise God they're trusting in what they possess but amen I praise God the Bible said but we will trust in the Lord we're trusting in God amen I don't care what it looked like amen praise God even as we're speaking praise God and give it given this praise God the time all hail the power thank you lord god they're gonna hail the power of almighty god and i'm thanking god in jesus name still once again even as we see it just through this and even through the prayer praise god pray and asking god amen like i said she prayed and asked god amen for a son but listen it wasn't just an ordinary son my god in jesus name i thank god that even as she prayed and she made that vow lord you bless me with a son i'll give him back to you and i thank god because the son praise god Samuel. Amen. Praise God. This was, praise God, a prophet. And I thank God we're going to get into it, but I want you to know the power still belongs to God, y'all. It all belongs to God. And I thank God this morning in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Listen, the reason Amen. God is raising up, or you raising up Samuel was because of the leadership. Praise God that had become so corrupt. And understand Eli, yes, Eli was the high priest, but his sons, his sons, Hophni, uh, Hophni praise God, and Phinehas, praise God. Listen, these sons of his, amen, they were doing evil. They were doing evil, and Eli didn't correct them, but God was bringing, he was going to bring judgment upon Eli's house. Amen. Sometimes it looked like people are getting away or stuff are going by. And listen, warning, warning, warning. We were just talking about this the other day. Telling Pastor Gary, I said, listen, warning always comes before destruction. Warning. God gives warning. And sometimes, you know, it, God, God is a compassionate, merciful God. And I'm thanking God for that. God does. He gives warning. You better believe there's warnings that are going out. When you see stuff that you're seeing with your natural eye right now, there's a warning already that has already gone out. But after a while, destruction is coming. But my God, in Jesus' name, God gives space. The grace of God is nothing but the grace of God. When you see what you're seeing, praise God, it's nothing but the grace of God. But you keep praying. You keep praying, praise God, interceding in the mighty name of Jesus. But after a while, thank you, Lord God, when God is hallelujah. All hail the power in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless God still again, y'all, this morning. We're mindful of the time, but I give God praise, and I thank God what comes to mind. Psalms 91. And I thank God this morning in the name of Jesus. Those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, listen, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, and we will say of the Lord, He is our refuge. Thank you, Father. You are our fortress, our God. In you, Father, we trust. We thank you in the name of Jesus that you shall deliver us from the snare, Lord God of the Father. We thank you, Lord God, and even from the perilous pestilence. We thank you, Lord God, that you cover us with your feathers. We thank you that we're under, Lord God, the wings of you, and this is where our refuge is. We bless you and honor you, Lord God, for your truth shall be our shield. It's your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. It's our shield and our buckler. We thank you this morning in the mighty match, this name of Jesus, that we shall not be afraid. We will not be afraid of the terror by night. God, I thank you in Jesus' name, nor the arrows that fly by day. We thank you, Lord God, nor the pestilence that walk in the darkness. Thank you, Lord God. We will not be afraid, Father, of the destruction that may waste that new day. We thank you, Lord God, even in your word it says a thousand may fall at our side and even ten thousand at our right hand. But, Lord God, I thank you that they will not come near us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Only our eyes, Lord God, shall look and we're going to see the reward of the wicked. But Lord, I thank you. We praise you this morning because we have made you, Father. We made you our refuge. We thank you in Jesus' name that you are the most high. We thank you, Lord God. You are our dwelling place. We thank you that no evil shall befall us. We thank you neither shall any plague, Lord God, come nigh our dwelling. We thank you because you've given angels charge concerning us in the name of Jesus. And we thank you today. We praise and glorify your holy name. We thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus this day. That 
as we look to you, Father, we're giving praise, glory, and honor. We thank you because you are God. You are mighty God. You are the sovereign God. You're the ruler. You're the maker of everything. We thank you, Lord God. All power, all the power belongs to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for prayer warriors, intercessors, Lord God, that will pray. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not going to complain, but we're going to pray. We bombard heaven in the name of Jesus. We cry out against the wickedness in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, strongholds being, Lord God, pulled down and cast down. We pray in the name of Jesus as we look to you, Father. And even every thought, Lord God, that the enemy may try to bring, we are casting down vain imaginations, those things that try to exalt itself against the knowledge of you. Lord God, what we know, we know that you are God. We know, thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that all power, all power, thank you, Lord God, is your power. You're the sovereign God. You're the ruler. You're the maker. You are yet, thank you, Lord God, God. You are God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Creator, Elohim, Creator of everything, everything in the name of Jesus. And we praise you. We glorify you, our Savior. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, as we're on assignment, we're called by you in the name of Jesus. You've called us out of darkness. You called us out of darkness. And we thank you, Lord God. You called us. We heard you. And we praise and magnify you in this. This is our prayer for others. Lord God, that as you're calling, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, they would hear. We pray, Lord God, for that tangible heart. We pray, Lord God, a heart of flesh, Father, to hear your word, hear you in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that even knowing we are the salt of the earth, we know, Lord God, that we are the light of this world. We pray that we will forever allow our lights to shine, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, before men. Lord God, that we will lift you up and Lord God steal your word you said if you be lifted up you will draw Lord God men unto you we pray in the name of Jesus Lord God that there will be a lifting lifting oh my gosh and we will lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God and you draw men in the name of Jesus they're in need of you Lord God we pray Father even as you've commanded Lord God through your word in the name of Jesus my people we are his people thank you Lord God call by his name and we thank you Lord God that we bombard heaven we're coming before you we intercede in the name of Jesus prayer warriors, intercessors, Lord God, that will cry out in the name of Jesus day and night. Father God, that you would be glorified. Be glorified, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, right where we are, wherever we are in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray, Father. In your mighty name, let it be, Lord God, in the workplace. Let it be, Lord God, in our homes. Let it be in the name of Jesus in our neighborhoods. Let it be on that job. Thank you, Father. Wherever we are, in the mighty name of Jesus, get the glory out of us. Get the glory, Father, out of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you. We honor you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let there be an urgency, an urgency in us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We praise and glorify you, Lord God, in what we have learned, Lord God, from Hannah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, some things will push us to our knees. Some things, Lord God, will bring us before your presence. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, because still you are God. You are God in the mighty name of Jesus, and we bless you. We honor you in the mighty name of Jesus today. We thank you, Lord God, and we give praise, we give the glory, we give the honor, still knowing who you are. You're the sovereign God. You're Abba, our Father. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, the God who can do whatever he wants to do when he wants to. In the name of Jesus, you can work by yourself if you want to. But God, I thank you in Jesus' name. You use angels if you want to. Thank you, Lord God. Any other way, Father, you'll raise up an individual. 
bless you. Lord God, to do your work to you. But Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus, even when we don't understand it. But my God, we're trusting. We're trusting your word. We're trusting who you are. We're trusting in the name of Jesus and still knowing, Lord God, the plan, the plan that you have, that you're working it out. You're working it, Father, for our good. We give you glory, Lord God. We give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus today. We thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus again for your sons, your daughters, in the mighty name of Jesus that have gathered here. We praise you, Lord God, standing and believing. Believe in God, trust in God, trust in God, and still knowing, listen, it's already done. It's already done in the name of Jesus. It's already done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. And we're going to keep saying, walk it out. Walk it out in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever's in front of you. You got to remember greater is he that's in you, in you. Thank you, Lord God, than he that is in this world. Greater is the one on the inside of you. My God, you have this treasure in earth and vessel. Thank you, Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Spirit of God that will lead and guide you. Listen to the Spirit of God. Listen as He leads you. Listen. Thank you, Lord God. Walk in obedience. Thank you, Lord God, to the command, the voice of God. We give you praise, Father. We bless you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again, Lord God, for these that will hear. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, listen, that word was often said when Jesus taught, he that has an ear, let him hear. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Thank you, Lord God. Everybody got ears, but everybody can't hear. But we pray in Jesus' name, he that has an ear, hear. Hear in the name of Jesus. Hear. Thank you, Lord God. We bless you. We honor you, Father, this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you again for your sons and your daughters. By the authority, Father, of the name of Jesus Christ, we still render every demonic spirit, every attack, whatever you see going on around you. We pray in the name of Jesus, every evil altar. Thank you, Lord God. We're called to pray. Pray, intercede. Thank you, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, all strongholds. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak your word. Lord God, the sword of the Lord comes against it. And Father, we pray even now in the mighty name of Jesus once again that as we go today, Father, we pray even now that whatever is coming up against us, in the name of Jesus, still the word in Psalms 91. Thank you, Lord God. Go back in there. Read the word of God. Declaring it over your life. Declaring it over your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we give you praise even now for your sons and your daughters. Lord God, in the name of Jesus today, that by your authority, the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, whatever's coming, in the name of Jesus, it will not succeed. It will not prevail against us. It's helpless, powerless, inoperative, and ineffective. We declare your word once again, Father, in your mighty name this morning. We declare the word of the Lord that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. It won't succeed, neither will it prevail. We give you the praise. We give you the glory because the power belongs to God. Hallelujah.